Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Into the Breach, where today we still have a lot of achievements to earn. Um, I'm not particularly wedded to any number of islands for this run, although of course it is worth noting. Uh, we do still have, there is no try, so probably we should be going for at least three on every run to attempt to pull this off. Uh, what is this? No mech damage? This is, I don't know, this might not be the squad for that. I do love to block. Also, we don't need everything to actually win the game. Uh, so, still have to spawn 15 arachnoids in one island. Obviously, we're getting closer to that. Area shift five units at once is what we've learned this means. Kill three enemies with one shot of the ricochet rocket. Okay, it's all stuff that, that we'll get to. Now that we have the plus one damage, it's in theory a lot easier to get that. We're working on ricochet. Uh, yeah. Okay, once we have shield ally, it's a lot more sensible to like move somebody over next to the slide mech so that we can get the goal accomplished. So who are we after now? Uh, you know, this island does not seem too bad to me. Archive Inc. gives you a lot of help. These enemies are not super high HP. The smoke from the mosquitoes is going to potentially be annoying, but I, th I think we can work with this. I think we can work with Dewey Alms, which is something I'm never happy to say, but. And with eight spaces on fire. There's a lot of, there's a lot of forest in the area where the Vec are going to be spawning, meaning that if we can start some fires, they're likely to help us spread them. Um... Yeah, I don't love the Volatile Vec mission, although I guess it's a little bit easier to do with the Slide Mech. Let's go to the Accord Repository. We'll get this, and then we'll we'll see how we feel afterward. Hopefully we will get this. Uh, so the Arachnoid Mech can be, like, back here. That's probably fine. Slide Mech probably wants to be real up close. Actually, maybe in that position, in fact. Maybe the Slide Mech wants to be... Yeah, I want the slide mech in a position where it itself is not going to get webbed. Uh, we do have a flying enemy and a ranged enemy, so this uh, this bit of water here is not going to protect us in fall. But again, we can we can start some fires. I guess probably a good idea to remember that we do have the fireproofedness mech. Not my favorite uh, for this situation. So that starts two fires right there. That definitely feels like a reasonable start. How much damage does this attack do? Three. It is very awkward that I can make it to right here. It's not enough to move the enemy who's actually kind of a problem. Bulk Mac has four movements, so... We're probably not going to be able to get the Bulk Mac down into this row to help move that thing away. Um, if I... I guess we can solve the problem with the Spiderling. Actually, I probably, I probably don't want to move down here. I want to maintain as much freedom on this axis as possible. So we do this, start a fire, then just move over here and slide this enemy. I mean, obviously, like I, what I want to do is stop in this space, which will spread the fire to here, and then attack there, which will set a third space on fire. But... I do also need to not lose buildings. Oh right, I'm waterlogged, so I need to do that the other way. We can do a little bit of push damage here at least, right? Okay, that's like a reasonable turn. It does end us up with uh, still a lot of living enemies, which I don't love, but team's not super high damage right now. There's only so much we can do. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, that's tricky. So we can Spiderling. So I can run around here and drag this guy off into the corner. Use the Spiderling to kill this scorpion. Freeing our friend here. Spiderling can bounce these guys off of each other for a little bit of damage before we execute the move. And then that leaves the bulk mac free to actually do some damage. Actually, the Spiderling's... No, the Spiderling's not going to spawn in a position where it can do very much. Oh, also, there's still this to worry about. That's probably what the bulk mac has to do, is deal with that. Well... Yeah, the Spiderling kind of can't do anything except... What I can do is stop in one space to start a fire on it and then set another space on fire with my attack. And then here we can do like... Right? I think that's reasonable. Then we just grab you and... Oop, that's... I clicked like I was selecting it to target it. That's worth a reset. That is not, in fact, what I want to do. Uh, no, I probably, I probably do want to use... I probably want to sequence that approximately the same way, right? Because I do want to use the shield. This is the move I want. Okay. And you just start lots of fires. I guess I'm going to start the fires maybe a little bit more down here. Who knows? Maybe it'll end up mattering. I think I'm doing an okay job of this, considering that the enemies don't spread fire. So you have four health, right? Uh, awkward. Well, obviously I can bulk mech this thing downward. That's fine. I don't think I have another solution for it. Yeah. So I can kill you to create a spiderling. Doing so sets the eighth, eighth space on fire, which is obviously good. I really want to just slam these things into each other, but I cannot find a time when it is acceptable to do so. You know what? Let me, um... Let me go ahead and do this. Oh, that's not the right column. So close. Maybe I just take that, because that does kill this enemy. No, it doesn't. Fire damage, right. Uh, and I do need to be attempting to maximize, right? There we go. Now I can actually kill you. Yeah, we do still need to be trying to maximize the number of um, the number of spawns per island. Hey, look, it's the same enemy. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. This doesn't seem all that complicated. You just get out of the way and let us do that. Yeah. Good enough for me.
Yeah, any kind of summonable unit is pretty good for spreading fires, especially one where you don't care about its survivable. Uh, survive. <clears throat> where you don't care about its survival. Words. Uh, so I definitely want to consider moving Morgan over, but like we got to make sure we get this thing done. All right. So do we want to go through Antiquity Row to get to the rest of the island? I think so. I hate to like take the easy objective and miss out on a point of resources, but I just the volatile vacuum mission is so not good. How much movement do you have? Three? So you'll only be able to grab them if they're there. Maybe it's like... And Bethany's mech is really fast. Yeah, maybe it's like that. Okay, easy enough to ignore. Well, that's a super annoying position for you to be in. Because I was going to just drag this thing over and let the... Um... Oh, the office port's not even... Huh. Well, in that case, it feels like the move here is... Right? That solves problems. Um... Actually, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I do think I want to do that, but I don't know that I want to do it first. Or maybe I'd be better off just spiderling, spiderlinging. Is the attack order here? You're nice and early. So you can kill this guy for me. So obviously what I'm thinking is this shot, right? Now that is, this guy's still attacking, but we could potentially solve that in other ways. Yeah, okay, so what am I going to do with you? I should probably kill this thing. I don't love the position I'm going to have to stand in to do that. What am I, what am I going to do with you? I don't know yet, but I think this is... Okay. So that's a kill. Do I use these two... Do I use the spiderling plus the slide mech to kill this thing by shoving it in the water? We just let one of the, uh, one of the shields fall. I don't think that's terrible. Scarabs are really annoying to deal with. Yeah. Alright, another classic four unit shift. All right, and it's just all scorpions all the time over here. So. We could use the spider to the spiderling mech to kill this thing, which I think I really like. If I do that, what is my plan for dealing with you? Maybe I'm better off bulking like, uh, yeah, bulking like this. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty good. That lets me kill this thing with the spider. And then we can just save the bulk mech very easily with the slide mech in a bunch of different ways. Maybe like...
You're dead if I attack you anyway. So I think I just start roughing this thing up. Yeah. Maybe the smart money would have been to just lower the number of enemies on the table. I don't know. I would like to get this thing down to an, uh, an amount of health where we can kill it, though. Okay, so the spore always goes last. If I do this, we kill one of the scorpions. We get this thing low enough that I can kill it with the um with the spiderling. This thing's alive, but it's just going to absorb a spore shot. I actually don't hate that. Oh, I actually can't kill you with the spiderling mech. I wasn't thinking about it, but that um that doesn't work because I can't stand in a position where I'm allowed to do that. So I end up having to resolve this differently. Bethany will die if I do the bounce. Can't kill you. Can't kill you. Okay, well. Well, this is pretty bad. So we're losing a building. Actually, no, sorry. That's right. Morgan has a ton of HP now. Morgan can just stand in place, kill this thing, and just eat the shot. It's actually totally fine. Oh, but that causes you to die, which I don't love. Yeah, okay, so I get to save one of these two buildings, basically. I can't even stand on the spawner. Fuck. Everything just has so much health. And I can't kill this thing with the arachnoid mech. There's just no way to get to... Yup. Okay, well... That very well sucks. So we have to do this to save you. And then... We can put this thing down to three health so it's killable with the um, the arachnoid weapon on the next turn. Okay, so I could have done that to the scorpion as well. Okay. Uh, so the bulk mech does a fine job of solving these two. And nothing else I can do here matters, I think. Yeah, it's kind of a lackluster final turn. It is rough to have people on the team who only have two HP. So we end up only netting one power. Now we must defend the armored train, basically. 
I mean, it's this or the Volatile Vec. And the Armored Train is a lot more doable than the normal train. All right, we're going to try it. So the Scorpion... Scorpion has three move. It is 100% for certain going to web the train if we don't give it something else to web. It may still web the train even if I do give it something else to web. But we can we can try here. And then I'd actually really like it if the slide mech was not in a webbable position. But like with three um with three beetles, it's very hard for me to imagine we get away with this. Okay, it actually just went for a building on its own. That was nice of it. Now remember, this train does have a point of armor, so it can it can just bear an attack that deals one damage. Uh, obviously, we're not going to be receiving a lot of those. But like this, we don't have to do anything about this. It'll just bounce off. So what do we want to do then? I mean, obviously, there's a lot of appeal to just, uh, using the bulk mech to shoot at these two. But I wonder... So I think I am going to deal with this anyway, just as a way of dealing damage. We got that boost, which is high value. And now that we've done this, we can bulk mech these two. Killing this thing eventually would be really nice, so. Oh wait, sorry. Yeah, 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 I need, I need to, the slide mech's not gonna be able to handle this scarab because of the distances involved. So yeah, we do that and then we just, um, does it matter terribly? Probably not. I'll slide it this way to keep it further from the train, I guess. It was really nice to have an excuse to pick up the pod on the first turn so we don't have to dance around it. I would really like to be able to get rid of this thing. But we may have more pressing issues. Okay, I have to say, I'm, like, flabbergasted by how little interest the enemies seem to have in the train. This is not the way this usually goes. Uh, so if I just move you over, the train will run you down, which I love. I mean, it feels like... Right? Hit that. Push you over there to block this spawn. Um... Hmm. Drive you over here to do that. And then I shift things this way. So you're shooting at nothing and then you get run over by a big train. Hooray for trains! Also, we got that scorpion down to three now. So Morgan can do Morgan stuff to it. All right, they finally decided to start caring about the train, but I think, unfortunately for them, it is maybe just a little too late. There's, uh, there's actually literally no way to shoot this thing without dealing damage to a building. Right, because I don't, I don't get the option of not doing the rebound. Yeah, I could have, I could reset turn for that. I probably should. Okay, so this part still happens. Then we drive around. Well, actually, the spiderling won't be able to hit it now, right? Yeah, the Spiderling only has three range, so actually I don't get the kill either way. I don't know, I can come down here. There we go. 
And that way we're sure none of the XP goes to Bethany, which is nice as well. Alright, good stuff. Show me... Spring-loaded legs. Leap and attack a tile, dealing damage and pushing it. Hmm. That seems like a very good weapon that we are probably not going to be using. But... We are now on... 11 arachnoids so we have two missions left to spawn four which is to say that i think we can probably pull morgan and also okay So let's see if we can't uh, see if we can't find an opportunity here. I mean, we gotta go for the pasture, right? Use three player pl repair platforms, kill seven enemies with the bonus damage. That's probably quite doable. We really have to watch the amount that we spawn block, but I feel like that should be doable. It is a little scary, I will admit. So if I start here, it's actually really hard to know what we're going to want to do with the arachnoid mech. I guess actually starting here so that I can move on this axis is maybe better. All right. Seven enemies is not necessarily super tough as long as the things that this spawns count as enemies for this purpose. And I would imagine they do. Probably they do. Okay, so... Biggest threat, obviously, is that. Uh, then there's this problem, too, which we actually can deal with very easily once we have solved some of the other problems. So, like, we have to do that. I think we have to use the spiderling here, otherwise we're not going to have time to fix this problem. And then we can just move to here and slide left. Why well, have to move the spider first, but yeah, this, this works. So the spider can just run down and kill this thing. Do I want to do that? And it's worth noting that no, in fact, killing the little spawn did not count as an enemy kill. So yeah, then let's just get rid of this guy. Uh, I guess, hmm, yeah, I should, I should move you up, actually. What was I thinking? Because, like, we should definitely let that thing get killed by its teammates. We got a lot of blood to spill here. How dare you. Hmm... I don't, I don't think there's a way to use this setup to kill three enemies with one shot. Also, gosh, I sure would like to use some repair platforms. It'd be super cool if that was ever possible. We can kill two enemies quite easily. And should, I guess. So if I use the slide... No, we have to use the slide to clear up this problem. There's no other way of fixing it. So... Huh. 
how am I going to also generate a spider? Well, I guess, okay, actually, hold on. If I do that, plus... So I want the bulk mech to end up where the spiderling is standing right now. Where can the spiderling go that it will be doing anything of value? It doesn't actually help that much to have it attack the alpha scarab. I actually don't want it to attack the scion. The scion needs to stay intact. I guess this is useful. Yeah, no, this is great, actually. Oh, I missed the fire. Okay, the fire is a problem. The fire actually makes us have to have to work this a little bit differently. Um Okay, this works just fine actually. So what I can do is grab one of the repair platforms. Run you to shit. Nope, I can't. Never mind. My plan is scuttled. Well, we don't have to do anything with these. I was going to run down here and then slide this thing downward, but I forgot that that would also move the bulk mech. I guess the bulk mech can just do this, though. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, and then you have to go solve this problem, which is, like, pretty easy. Okay, now we have to get two more repair platforms used. We have enough enemies on the table to, um, to get our seven kills already. This is, uh, this is doable. It's a little messy, but. Okay. So. If I use the slide mech to push the scorpion to here, then the bulk mech can kill this unit and set that unit on fire as long as we kill the smoldering scion before the end of the turn which we can absolutely do with the arachnoid mech so yeah let's drop you so that i can drop you you can grab an extra repair and then right and now this guy will die during the fire phase we are going to have three enemies up on the final turn, one of whom is at three HP. Some good teamwork here. And I believe we are at 14 arachnoids now. Okay, so... Pretty easy to just to solve this problem with the combination of these two units. Just trying to figure out if there's like if there is one solution that is better than the others. And I think the answer is no. Slamming them into each other doesn't really do anything. Yeah, we'll just pull you off. And then. I don't know, I think this mountain harms me more than it harms them, so I'll just get rid of that. And you just do, you do two damage to something. I guess to this thing, actually, because I can't... I can't hit that without sacrificing my own life. Oh, wait. For some reason, I thought we had one more turn left. Uh, reset turn. Sorry. It is somewhat complicating that I have to find a way to do this that results in me getting another repair. Uh, I could move the slide mech to here and just... Yeah. We take the full repair, then we use the point of slide damage... 
Well, it doesn't matter. The important thing is I can free... Uh, yeah, this mech frees itself trivially, and then I don't actually take any meaningful dam- I, I don't take enough damage to die from this attack. Oh, did I just... It did not even occur to me that the, um that the pad would be taken up by the enemy who's already dead, because why would that work that way? But of course it does. Am I about to kill Bethany to produce an arachnoid? Yes. Nope, that doesn't even let you produce the arachnoid. Mm. We don't really need Bethany, is the thing, but like... That's a really shitty way to lose our perfect island. It should have spawned the spiderling, and then the spiderling sh should have been able to run to use one of the pads, is the thing. Bethany as a, as a unit is extremely whatever, and it doesn't matter so much that we lost the, uh, the, the perfect island thing on this run, because we can get it. We, we have lots of runs left. But that's very annoying that that worked that way. Um, let's let's turn on shield self for this mech. And it sucks that we lost both the perfect island and the overall uh, bonus, the the achievement star. But at this point, what are you gonna do? This is a little tricky. We have so little control over what they do because of the artillery units and everything. Yeah, this really sucks. Um, I guess? So I'm right that we only need to spawn one arachnoid. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, uh, the body block is extremely classy. So the only way to solve this problem is going to be using the slide mech to pull the unstable boulder away, right? Then we have to deal with that and that as well. And there's actually no way to do that. Yeah, this, this guy's, um, I can't interfere with this guy. Uh, the bulk mic only has three movements. So we can use, um, we can use an arachnoid here, solve this problem. And then the arachnoid can kill the alpha spore. Well, hmm. If I'm willing to just eat the Alpha Spore damage, I can actually use the Arachnoid to set up a shot for the bulk mech that lets us push this thing into the ocean. That's probably what we have to do. Right, and then you two have to swap spots. I'm gonna let Morgan be on fire, I think. Because I think Morgan needs to be in a position where um, they can get on this side of the building wall. If we put Morgan here to take that shot, the furthest in we can get is there, which is unacceptable. 
This is not a place where we even can shoot in a lot of cases because I don't want to push anything into those buildings. So I need to I need to get my angles a little bit better. Okay, well, we just lose. Hmm. Okay, if I back up to here, three damage, push you into that building for a fourth damage. Then we arachnoid this thing and hit him against the building again. We can save the corporate tower at the cost of taking two damage on purpose, two power damage on purpose. It does incidentally save this building. Yeah, and I don't think there is another play, so that's what we're doing. Okay, that saves that for the moment, and then I guess we just... I don't think we do anything with this mech. I mean, it would be really nice to have the ability to eventually move through here. That bottleneck hurts us way more than it hurts the enemies. Can't really do much about it, though. Yeah, you just like move over here and get ready to do more later. I don't even, like, I really don't even want to shift in any direction to gain the personal shield. And any attack that hits either of the explosive rocks kills the corporate tower in a way that we can't do anything about. So obviously that's a problem. How much damage are you doing? Three. So I could tank that while killing this thing. But like, this is a really great example of how dire the situation has become. I can't actually move anything to this space. So we need to... I mean, making that into an arachnoid is probably a pretty good move. Then we run you to here to allow for this shot. And you have to take care of this thing, which I hate. Or we take one more grid damage on purpose so that we can walk this thing into the ocean. Yep, I think that's probably right. Reduces the number of attacks on the uh, the final turn by one. And fuck it, this island's a travesty. There's nothing we can do about it. Just try to find some kind of way to an ending. Okay, so... This thing is actually very well protected by the way things have shaped up. Okay, that sucks a huge amount. What a what a bad outcome for that island. Let's just take what we got and go home. It's fully on me too. That's like the, the thing that's really frustrating about that is that I could have seen had I been paying attention. Um okay, that's not too good on Morgan, unfortunately. That's a very very good and powerful skill in a sort of a broad general sense. Because most pilots, you would rather sell than keep. Like, you, you get a lot of kind of 
whatever pilots uh, during a run. On our Morgan, that's not too exciting. We probably need to keep this Morgan to have a good chance of getting our achievements. Uh, the thing is, I don't want this. And if we sold Morgan, we would get two extra uh, reactors out of it. But like, do I want to take any of this stuff? Yeah, I mean, we know we know how good it is to have extra bodies. We'll grab that and two reactors. I could maybe have taken some energy. I don't know. Like, there are some times when the area shift is actually not very compelling. I don't think we're desperate for reactors on the other mechs right now, so I think we can afford to just turn this on. And then... Uh, it's definitely going to be easiest to get skills there, to get achievements that come from getting a large amount of kills on the Detritus Island, where things are going to be covered in acid all the time. I hate this group of enemies, but... If our primary goal is achievement hunting, this is probably the way to go. And we probably have to do some of this stuff. Kill six or fewer enemies actually really sucks. But like, power. But like, I'm desperate for power. Yeah, alright. What a fucking crew. Okay, uh... I'm going to put as many of my mechs as possible into these two columns here. And try to bait the uh, the beetles into charging us. Well, the goodish news is that all of the enemies have 10 million health, which is going to make it hard to accidentally kill them. Okay, and most of them aren't even attacking, which is which is great news. Um, so on don't attack missions, the arachnoid mech is pretty bad. So I think we want to do this, right? Let's just sink both of them, and then. So I could, I could move to here, slide this way, take this guy with me. Oh, actually, I know I was just talking about not wanting to kill enemies and everything, but I do at least want to have a little bit more control. And then what we can do is push you that way so that when I do the slide... There we go. Because the it, that would have caused the Alpha Beetle to charge into the slide mech and bang it against that mountain. And we would have survived because of the shield. Um, but it's certainly not ideal. These two, um, these two worms are going to be really hard to keep alive. Well, I mean, we just we have to do damage to the two of them with the two damage max, right? There's not really a way around it. Because I can't move them. I can give shields to allies, but not to, um, not to buildings, I don't think. They're attacking on one and two. So, yeah. I don't think there's a way to save our shield mech, or our slide mech, rather. Yeah. 
Yeah, none of this does anything. Oh, actually, never mind. This totally works because the bump damage gets him down to three. And then the, yeah, the Alpha Scorpion will deal with him. So that's good. We can take this shot with Morgan. And this shot with the Arachnoid Mech. And then we have a couple of worms who are really likely to die. And we're, we're hurtling towards six enemies killed very quickly here. We were probably never going to be able to not to not kill the um, the worms. That's just the way worms work. Um, so I could do this and it would kill him, actually. The game's not showing that, but it'll it'll shield me and then I'll get bump damage. It'll kill him. It won't get me out of this problem at all. I could deploy the shield tank and save myself with a shield. I'd love to be able to deal with this guy. Stuff's just not... Stuff's just not working. I don't think we can save this building. Right? Because we have to kill the worms. And also I think it's, it's a good idea, generally, to kill the worms. And then... The shield mech can save itself in a variety of ways. But none of it, none of it fixes this problem. So I think the best, the best save is this one. So I just, I just tank the shot and then... Oh, right, I forgot I was gonna... I forgot that doing the arachnoid thing makes you have an arachnoid. I don't know how I forgot that, but I did. Oh, hold on a second then. On reset turn, this is totally fixable in a different way. I don't think I changed too, too much. But obviously, like, this gives us something of a different move. So what I do is... I'd love to have these two hit each other, but I don't think there's any way to do that. I think now the correct move is, like, go downward, right? I still, I take, I take the three damage from this guy on the shield. I take the one damage from this guy's attack legitimately, which is fine. Yeah. And, you know, we are not close to killing another enemy. That's a really annoying thing for you to have done. Um, well. So, I mean, if we, if we slide Mac this way. We're taking the Moth out of commission. The slide Mac doesn't have to worry about the damage. I mean, if the slide Mac doesn't have to worry about damage at all. This is the final turn and it doesn't have a pilot. So I do that. then pretty much the only thing that even can be damaged anymore is this building. Is there a way to stop that building from being damaged? I think the answer is no. Alternatively, we can...
Nothing's low enough to die to the arachnoid mech's attack, which is really awkward. I kind of think the answer might be we do this and then we just hit end turn. Right? This building goes down. I don't think we can stop that from happening. I don't want to attack the Alpha Scorpion with the bulk mech. I guess I do want to... We can do two damage to it. So that way when the charge happens, it'll die and give us some XP at least. Although we're maxed out. But yeah, pushing either of these two a column over is disastrous. We can kill this one, but it doesn't actually do anything. Or wait, no. Now that I have done all that damage, I can actually kill both of them. This also kills the shield or the shift mech, but who gives a shit? And then our total enemy kill count is six, which is fine. Yeah, this mech doesn't have a pilot and cannot actually die in any way that matters, so. Okay, that saves us a power. While getting us a bunch of objectives and four more power. And all of a sudden, I'm feeling a little better. Pilot? Hmm. I mean, it's hard to be too mad about raining death. Two damage to everything it... Okay, no, sorry. It's two damage to the final target. One damage to everything else that, pa that it passes with the capability to be upgraded one more. Okay. Repair one HP at the start of the turn is maybe not the best on this mech, but it's fine. Um, I actually think maybe now that you have your max level, maybe you're the pilot of this mech, actually. Because this thing's going to stay out of, or can in theory, stay out of battle a lot. And then, like, I think I kind of want plus one move. Yeah. Okay. So now that that's done. Going out to the Nanite farm seems perhaps wise. The venting center doesn't seem too bad either. Hmm. And obviously I do want access to this. Yeah, let's do the venting center. The vec tend to screw up around the conveyor belts anyway, although obviously um, worms are less vulnerable to that. Uh, so... I'm going to create a three... A three row here on purpose in the hopes of being able to pull that uh, pull the worm's attention to it so that we can just easily shoot them in the back i don't really know what to do with most of our mechs i guess creating another row of three here oh i don't know that i want to create a row of three in such a way that it involves the the hospital though Hospital's already in a row of three. We can't actually make that impossible. Whatever, it's fine. Let's try it like this. Okay, so that's already not a problem. Okay, that gives us a good shot. Okay, cool. Um, so, we have three actual problems, only one of which, or two actual problems, only one of which can actually be dealt with, I think. Right, because you have to just do this, and that's not, like, terrible. So y'all get vanished. And then there's like two different ways to prevent two buildings from being destroyed. And of the of the two ways, only one of them kills the enemy. So 
And then it's just like you do two damage to something. Okay, uh, it's a little inconvenient. Yeah, the arachnid back just doesn't get to play the game anymore. It's pretty harsh. So we... We don't lose right now, but we are getting pretty low. Yeah, there's not actually a way for me to do anything here. We can make some bugs next turn. Moving this guy around doesn't accomplish anything. I don't know. Get him closer to center, I guess. Yeah, I didn't really um I didn't really account for how much reducing the arachnoid max uh, access to boost was going to make it just completely unable to contribute to the game in any way ever at all. Okay. So ob obviously we have to finish these two off. That's pretty bad, but it is only three damage. It's actually not lethal. Make our arachnoid and use it to push this guy so he's just charging into the water. And that's it. And I think we're going to survive, but obviously our power is in dire shape. Uh, I mean, is there anything we can do here at all? I could kill some stuff, but it doesn't matter. There's no meaningful XP to be gathered. Yeah, we're good. I mean, good is strong, but you know, you know what I mean? Okay, we had literally no way of doing anything about most of that. And it strikes me that if we go to the landfill now, we probably lose the game. So let's do this. We have to get a little bit of power back and then go do the landfill after. This is fucked. We are, we are super doomed. Okay, you gotta get a you gotta get a utility ability onto the arachnoid mech at some point. I think. I think you are just doomed if you don't. All right, doing my best to give the nautiloids and the beetles somewhere to charge that isn't a building. Any hit on a building kills us 100% guaranteed. All right, these things have 4 HP, right? Okay, so we can 
solve that problem with this. which allows me to solve an egg problem like this. So their, their attack pushes the target, right? Okay, that's unfortunate. What I want to do is just step in front of this guy and pull him this way. If I do that, though, this guy's charge breaks his um, breaks the shield by pushing Beetle 3 into it, and then Beetle 3 executes his charge for lethal damage, which is not really how I want that to go. So unfortunately, what we have to do instead is... I guess a thing I can do is this and put you in front of there and then I can just have Miguel power slide himself into the beetle for, into the thing for one damage. Yeah, that works. We get a block out of it and everything. You are also down to 4 HP now, so... The acid's good. The acid helps. Uh, I think I just want to step out of the way here. Yeah. I guess let's take the opportunity to spawn the tank. We'll kill that thing now, because we can. We'll just shield you so you don't take damage. I don't actually want to do anything with the spider, which feels weird, but I like I definitely don't want to move this, right? So yeah, the spider doesn't really do anything. Okay, this is this is a little bit more under control. Wait, I thought are the spiders not No, it was the little bomblings that die in one or that die at the end of the turn no matter what. I forgot how the game works. Game rules, what are those? I'm always saying apparently Well, I'm inclined to just let uh, this fella get on with his job, so maybe you just move up here? Can't really do anything other than a little bit of damage. And then, like, spider block, shield tank block? You allowed to shield yourself? No. Okay. A technician's really coming in handy, honestly. Hooray! Okay, this got real messy, but hopefully we can keep clawing it back here. I'm having a really hard time finding any situation in which it would be even remotely viable. To kill three enemies with the bulk mech. I just, I just don't see how it could happen. Okay, at this point, I think we have to take the landfill because we are behind a little bit. Hopefully I've given myself enough room to... Yeah, we have to hope. I mean, the other thing we could do is we could try to take it a little bit easier. We could do the pumping station with the intention of doing a fourth island. And I guess if I want my achievements, that probably is the way we have to go about this, right? 
it's not very likely that we're going to see a um, that we're going to see an opportunity to get these two missions completed in the next just like right here. Yeah. Okay. Doing a fourth island is really scary. But so is the prospect of trying to uh, beat the final island with our crew as they are right now. So. Uh, I guess. Once again, we're going to hope for a lot of. Uh, a lot of fuckery on behalf of the conveyor belts. This moth is a problem. We can kill it. And I can just eat the charge, which is fine. Yeah. Well, I want the boost, but actually... We better do this in the way that spawns a spiderling. Who will allow me to pull that off? And then I guess there's no reason to eat the charge. But maybe the better way to avoid doing so would be to spawn the tank. Oh, well, the belts are going to bump me on this guy. Ah, whatever, it's fine. The belts are going to cause the bump, that's going to eat the shield, and then the charge is still going to happen, but whatever, we survive it. It's fine. Oh hey, a non-alpha enemy. Feels like it must be a clerical error. Okay. Hmm. So that sinks the the worm. It would allow me to uh, arachnoid the beetle, which we, we use the arachnoid to sink this guy again. I actually really like that. It does mean that I want to move you out first. And I think probably just to, yeah, just do this. Because otherwise I'm going to kill him with the bounce. Yeah, you get this. This thing runs through to here. Yeah, I guess this makes sense. We have so many enemies to kill, and there is no acid on this map at all, and I think I'm going to end up losing my uh, my perfect island, because we're not getting boosts, and yeah. Okay, we do get a spider off of this one. That's a good kill. Although, actually, maybe I don't even do that that way. Because I could also... So if I bounce you off the mountain... Yeah, I actually... I think I like this a lot. Bounce him off the mountain. Then we take this shot. That way the beetle handles that guy. Um, my plan there was based around the idea that I was going to use the arachnoid mech to solve this problem, but I guess I didn't really think that through because there's no... Alright, well, there was no version of that where that could happen. But we can do this and then save a building this way.
But the thing is, we can already save that building, right? So I think what I do instead is attack here. Because I think we're just going to feed this guy the tank to save the building. And we're just going to lose that building. Alright, so that's four enemies down. This guy's on two HP, that guy's on three HP. Although three HP is unkillable. Well, no, sorry, 3 HP is not unkillable. It's unkillable by our units. So we get to feast on you. If I move Morgan around to here... Okay, we do that, and then we... There we go, that's six. And... This is seven. But it happens after the worm destroys that building, unfortunately. Oh, wait, no, the moth's not even attacking the right... Ugh, man. Well, it seems like we're probably going to have to play another game with this team anyway, given the way I'm playing. Just... Rough episode, you know, they happen. Some days you're not at the at the toppest of your game. Um, so maybe it's not a big deal that we're gonna have to play this team again. Uh, and yeah, there's no version of this where we do well at all, right? How am I gonna deal with Scarab Leader plus multiple Alpha Burrowers? While also, yeah, this is this is a fucking nightmare. All right, we gotta find more weapons next time. Okay, uh, I mean, we can dump this thing in the water if we want to. Obviously, it is, remember, it is massive, so dumping it in the water doesn't kill it, it just, uh, just floods it so it's not taking its turn. Uh, I mean, so if I fire the shot so it goes here and then there, we're dealing three damage total to the boss and also sinking both of those worms. So actually, I think if I just do this, we can actually make that lethal, right? Shoot. Well, I mean, that's not so bad. Right, this is going to get our pilot hit, but not lethally. It's you at three, and then I can step around here and get you to one. Yep, and we take, we take a lot of damage. It's not all of the damage, though. Those are some phenomenally shitty positions. Um, and yeah, the arachnoid mech is just not in a position to be able to do basically anything about it. So we can kill the boss. Or we can kill the scion. But the problem is, neither one of those are actually doing any damage to anything. It does not actually help me to do either of those things. The bulk mech can kill yeah we lose so here's a question then is there a way to make the slide mech achievement happen I think the answer is no 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 there isn't Almost, though. We can almost do it. It's like I could drop a spiderling over here to create 
Um, I dropped this attack here to create a spiderling, which gives us a spiderling and the bulk mac, which could be repositioned to some extent, but we cannot craft a position where I am able to surround this thing entirely. Due to the position of this building, which is very awkward. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if there's. There's no way to make this triple kill function either, right? Does it say three enemy units? Yes, it does. That's not really available to us. Okay, so there's no point in, in continuing on here. We may as well just go ahead and scoop out. Let's abandon timeline. And to be perfectly honest with you, I don't know that it is Morgan. Mech gains boosted on kill is cool, but... Well, no, it's probably Morgan. Even if I don't want to keep this Morgan, we take the Morgan and we sell them at the at the end of the first island, right? Yeah, and they'll help us through the first island. That's fine. Okay, so we were we were going to lose, and also we need another crack at this to get the um, achievements anyway. So that's what we're gonna do. When you come back next time, and by the way, thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, we are going to be. Uh, taking on another timeline with the arachnophiles and hopefully finding ourselves some kind of utility tool for the arachnoid mech uh, sooner rather than later. Because it turns out sometimes sometimes you need something to do other than spawn spiders. That's like a valuable life lesson. And we'll see you then.